Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Dexter DX7.5L bolt-on drum brake actuator for a 2-inch hitch ball. It has a 7,500 pound weight capacity. Now you'll use this actuator to synchronize your trailer brakes with your tow vehicle brakes. Basically the, this hydraulic actuator will activate your trailer brakes when your tow vehicle slows or stops. What happens is when you apply the brakes in your tow vehicle, deceleration occurs and the momentum will push your trailer toward the rear of your vehicle. So with the surge brake system, this actuator is then triggered as your trailer moves forward while the tow vehicle slows. And the inner portion of this actuator will telescope in and applies force to the master cylinder that's back here, which in turn supplies the necessary hydraulic pressure to engage your trailer's brakes. You can see this is a nice low profile coupler latch to ensure easy secure connection. A lot of the uh, actuators will have a large latch up here that goes back and forth. This one is just nice and low profile so you don't get it damaged or bent. And it is an over center latch mechanism. It will only engage when the actuator is fully seated on a 2 inch hitch ball. And I wanted to demonstrate that. I happened to pull an example. Here's a 2 inch hitch ball that this would fit on. <clears throat> and just to show you how it installs. First thing you want to do is it has this safety pin that's tethered. You pull the safety pin all the way out, just like that, and that'll release the latch. And then to open the latch, it has this little round section up at the top here that slides back and forth. Just slide that until it opens up all the way, and now you're ready to attach. So basically what you'll do is that'll be your hitch ball. Once you're over it, it'll drop right onto the hitch ball. Push that down, locks it to the hitch ball, and then for extra safety, You'll take the safety pin, slide it all the way through, lined up with the hole on the other side, and with that in there, it'll keep that latch from fully opening. So by chance, if this did hit something and release the latch, you can see that it won't open all the way. It'll still stay attached. And then you just push it down, and then to remove it again, just pull out your safety pin, slide open your latch, and then just remove it from the hitch ball. Simple as that. <clears throat> Now if you notice it does include this breakaway cable. Now the breakaway cable is required and basically what this does is this breakaway cable will prevent a trailer runaway situation. This hook here will hook to your tow vehicle and then what happens is if this ever does come unhooked from your tow vehicle it would pull and stretch this cable and what that would do is then that would apply the uh, pressure for the, uh, the master cylinder to apply the brakes in the trailer. So if it come detached, this breakaway cable would keep it from a runaway situation. <clears throat> now the master cylinder on this, let me see if I can turn it over and you can probably see the end of the master cylinder right here. This master cylinder is constructed of aluminum rather than plastic or steel for increased strength and corrosion resistance. And you access that master cylinder right on top here. This is where your brake filler cap will be, and you see it's recessed down in there so it doesn't get damaged or anything, and this is where you'll check your brake fluid or add your brake fluid if needed. This does have a nice zinc plating on it, offers excellent corrosion resistance. You can see the holes right here in the back. It is a bolt-on installation. It is designed to fit a 3-inch by 5-inch straight tongue trailer. Now the hardware to install it is not included. This part is made in the USA few specs on this. The application is hydraulic drum brakes. The ball size we mentioned it fits is a 2 inch diameter ball. Weight capacity 7,500 pounds. And one last note I do want to mention on this is because this model does not include a reverse lockout, it is recommended that you equip your trailer with either an electric reverse lockout solenoid and that would actually screw on to the back of the master cylinder right back here. Or you can actually put free backing brakes on your trailer and that way, either way, you can drive in reverse without triggering your trailer's brakes. But that should do it for the review on this Dexter DX7.5L bolt-on drum brake actuator for a 2-inch hitch ball. It has a 7,500 pound weight capacity.